At the end of an era, the winningest basketball coach in NCAA history is retiring. Tara Vanderveer making the announcement late tonight after 38 seasons leading the Stanford women. Amazing what she's done on the farm and for women's sports, not just basketball here. Yeah, the 70-year-old Vanderveer says it is time, and what a time she's had leading Stanford to three national championship and 14 Final Fours. NBC Barry's Jocelyn Moran is at Stanford with these late details. Jocelyn, what do we know? Well, Raj and Jessica, we know that this announcement came as a shock to many. She broke records this season. Many call her a legend, and she has the wins to prove it. But what people are pointing out is the kind of leader she has been as a coach. And it's in the record books. 1,203 wins. A legend of the game and college basketball's all-time wins leader is retiring from Stanford's women's team. This hand crap she earned that title this season when she got her 1,203rd win, becoming college basketball's winningest coach of all time. Tara Vanderveer is a piece of history in the women's basketball game. I mean, this woman's been coaching for 45 years. She was coaching before there was a three-point line in women's college basketball. Even though it's shocking, Zena Cato with NBC Sports Bay Area says it also makes sense given the success she's had and Stanford leaving the Pac-12. But this could bring changes come next year. I am sure that this is going to change their roster. There's probably a lot of the reason that some of these players came to play for Stanford was to play for Coach Tara. Vanderveer spent 45 seasons with Idaho, Ohio State, and Stanford. 38 of them were with the Cardinal. In a statement tonight, Vanderveer says in part, quote, it has been an unforgettable ride. The joy for me was in the journey of each season, seeing a group of young women work hard for each other and form an unbreakable bond. And what makes her especially admirable is the kind of leader she was as a coach. She was never uh, someone that thought she was the end all be all. She was an incredibly collaborative leader. She was incredibly flexible. She was always willing to hear someone out and, and think, what are you seeing that I'm not seeing? That's what made her so visionary is because she added everyone into her vision. And Zena Keda with NBC Sports Bay Area also points out that Coach Tara is set to remain as an advisor with the program. Now, Kate Pay, who played under Coach Tara and has been part of her staff for quite some time, uh, is in negotiations with the school to be her successor. But again, this has been a very big shock for many people, um, especially when it comes to Stanford's community. Rush. Jocelyn, thank you. I've covered Coach Vanderveer since 1998. She does not seek the spotlight. She is tough and she is active. She's also earned the respect from coaches around the country, various sports and various leagues. I love Tara. She's amazing. Um, and we've uh, connected quite a bit in the Bay. Um, she's come to our practices. I've seen her down on their campus. Um, I have so much uh, respect and admiration for her. And uh, my f initial reaction is I'm thrilled for her. She can go water ski. <laughs> and she loves to water ski, I know. So um, congrats, Tara, on, a, on an amazing career. That's Coach Kerr about 45 minutes ago. Former Stanford football coach David Shaw also sending his admiration on Twitter. There is an avalanche of social media posts right now from coaches, players, and professors. What's amazing, she's got the energy now that she had 38 years ago, but maybe it is time to water ski.